Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play FTL Fashion Light. I'm Nye. Trance is still joining me because he likes to see me fail. And we're going to do something slightly different this time. We're going to go specifically and only for the Slug Cruiser. And we're going to also go for the achievement for either do not buy anything in a shop until Sector 8, or uh, do not uh, upgrade your systems or uh, stuff like that until Sector uh, 5, I think is the one for that one. So I'm going to do that with the Basilisk, because it already starts with a boarding drone, a defense drone, and uh, the super teleporter. I don't need to upgrade anything in this shi uh, ship, and I don't need to buy anything with this ship. It's already exactly what I would want in a ship. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Mantis into this uh, crew teleporter. So Trance, the uh, way this ship works, the way it's designed to work... Is, you fucking uh, bombard them with boarding drones and people drones, and yeah. you beat the crap out of field. It starts up with level 2 shields automatically, so you don't really care about the, uh, about the incoming, like, the incoming damage. And if they start mm -hmm. shoot at you with missiles, you have your missile, uh, defense drone, and you just throw both of your, uh, guys onto their ship at the same time. I don't have anybody in my, uh... Yeah, I don't have anybody in my ship to pilot my ship because I don't need anybody in my ship to pilot my ship. Just waiting for this combat over here for us to win. I got one of their crew members dead. Two of their crew members dead. They got one more crew member waiting. Looks like he should die pretty fast, too. Okay, you get over here so those two can fight it out and we're going to win. Yada, yada, blah, blah. Okay. One fuel, one missile, 20 scrap. Wonderful. Yeah, that is actually pretty solid. Yeah, it's a really solid way for this ship to run. The only thing I need in this ship is crew members just so I can throw more than two men on the enemy ship at, the t at a time. Mm -hmm. And every so often I have to throw one of my uh, Mantis into the uh, cockpit because he needs to pilot the ship real quick. Mm -hmm. But that's so it. It's a Depending on what we find at the first shop, we'll determine which mode of achievement you go for. Pretty much. Now, we have ships like this. I can't do anything against the ship, period, end of story. I cannot fight it. Yeah. Because I have no way to get through that shield. And this is what I talk about when, I'm, when I say that the game actually actively tries to screw with you. Because this is a ship I cannot fight. I can't do anything against it. I can't it fight it at all. Seems to me like one of the most useful pieces of equipment for the Basilisk would be a complement of ion guns. Possibly. The problem is the only ion gun I know, or like the cheapest ion gun I know, it requires two power, and uh, we only start with one power, so I'd have to upgrade the ship to do that. Yeah. We're actually taking a lot of damage because they have a, a three-shot gun. I have two shields at max. We're actually taking a lot of damage here. Already lost about uh, six health. Yep, they keep on hitting my shields. Can we ch can we finish charging, please, so we can leave? I don't care about the weapons. Those can stay dead for a while. We are already down to 75% health. Okay, what are we doing now? Okay, we have an empty area that I can just repair my ship in. That's fine. Yeah, I hate it when the game does that. It and it does it frequently against uh, against this ship, against um. It does it against the stealth ship, throwing stuff at you that you would really want uh, shields for. It really tries to punish you for playing the ships that have no way to deal with certain ships. It's unfortunate, but a fact of reality. The computer is a cheating bastard. Oh, it is, and we all know it is. Okay, let's heal up our guys real quick. And let's go ahead and jump. Okay, come on, computer. Show me stuff I can actually fight. I can fight that. Okay, it has no missiles, so I get to fire up my boarding drone. And we're gonna go kick some ass. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna let the boarding drone do its own work for a little bit. Let's just see if it can kill... Actually, you know what? This ship doesn't have... I can almost guarantee you the enemy ship does not have four crew members. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of the crew members just died. 
Now, is the enemy crew intelligent enough to upgrade to blast doors and lock you into Venter? No. That's Actually, uh, enemy ships frequently do not have outer doors, and I have never seen them ever vent. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Like, I do see a door right here, but I've actually never seen an enemy ship vent, ever. Mm -hmm. Not sure why, actually, because uh, that would be a really good thing, because it's the only way to really stop a ship like this. Uh, this ship is actually incredibly overpowered. Yeah, but it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate it. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna love having doing. Or I'm gonna love doing this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Not gonna accept that offer. Remember, I can't even buy fuel. Yeesh. Okay, let's demand the surrender of these guys' goods. Boarding drone and launch. Nope. Launch these two into. Actually, you get in here before we launch. And launch these two into the cockpit. We're starting with the captain. Evil. Oh yeah. Well, remember their their FTL is charging, so I have to stop that FTL from charging immediately. Also, please recall that right now I have no nobody on our ship, so I have no dodge chance right now. Didn't matter yeah. though. First laser mark one. That'll sell for a pretty penny. You're allowed to sell, so. Well, I'd rather not try to sell. That I'd rather not risk it. Unless you find out that's what you. Yeah, I mean, right now, our ship's doing pretty well. Remember, I'm not allowed to... No, I'm, I'm allowed to repair, that's right. Uh, so, I'm gonna You're right now... You're not allowed now, to purchase anything. Yeah, but I'm not going to chance missing out on an achievement because I wanted to try to interpret the rules. Fair enough. Especially not one that's gonna require me to play for an hour to see if I actually got it. Come on. Now, what I probably shouldn't be doing, I should probably not be trying to go for the do not upgrade and do not purchase achievements at the same time. Yeah, but you're not. Once you find out what's in the first shop, you'll determine which you go for. Well, I've already skipped the first shop because it wasn't uh, where I needed it to be. Ah. Okay. In that case, if you've already skipped a shop, it's worth starting to upgrade your ship because you don't want to get left behind. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, let's... We're gonna fight them on their ship. We're winning the fight, obviously. The only problem with this ship, and the reason why you need to have multiple crew members, is just the whole... Uh, if they have a med bay, which they frequently do, what they'll do is they'll attack you, and once they get down to low health, they'll run to the med bay, and this can kind of be an issue. So what you do is you get uh, multiple team members on the enemy ship, and you get some into the med bay, so when they run into the med bay, you just immediately attack them. And you can wreck the med bay yourself. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm still going to hold off on doing any upgrades right now. Just because I want to see what happens. So I want to keep my options open for as long as possible. Yeah. Especially because we're not... One more shop. Damn it! Are you kidding me? Actually, this could be this could be okay. Yeah, because the asteroids can blast through their green. Mm -hmm. I'm pop a defense drone, because... Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Asteroid took out my defense drone. That's... That's dicks! Yeah. That is... I hate that stuff can actually hit defense drones. Hi, I exist to defend... Oh my god, I can't defend me! Yep. Well, I fired it up, I fired it up a little bit late. Okay, these guys actually do have a uh, med bay. The good news is that there's only two of them on the ship, and they have to full heal before they can come out and fight again. Okay. This is risky. This is really risky. Okay. What I'm going to do is as soon as these guys run off, I'm going to go and take out their shields real quick. So that way, the asteroids can just pummel them to death. That's a cheeky, cheeky move. Hey, let's get them out of there, because I do not want them to actually fight that mantis. I don't want them to die to him. 
Well, they have no weapons right now, and they have no shields. If neat, if um, I was hoping an asteroid would actually hit their uh, med bay. Okay, they're gonna offer me six fuel, two drone parts, and ten scrap. I'm not gonna accept that. Okay, unfortunately their shields are back up, but their O2 is down, and that is something I can stop them from getting back online, and I can suffocate them. Oh, and they got fire in here to deal with too. Neat. That's helpful. And that should uh, consume what little remaining oxygen they have even faster. Uh, yeah, potentially. We're gonna fight them in the med bay real quick. I might be able to beat them in here, depending. Come on, kill that guy. Nope, not gonna happen. Okay. You guys get out of there real quick. I'm just gonna wait and... I'm gonna kill their engines, I guess. Get my men off of there. Because my men are really badly hurt. So they're gonna have to focus on taking out the O2, or on fixing the O2 before they fix anything else. Now, unfortunately, my, my teleport is only uh, level one, so it means it takes about 40 seconds to get back in order. So I can't really risk throwing my men back on that ship. That's another reason why using this ship uh, for the do not upgrade thing isn't as nice as using it for the no shops thing. Well, it's fine right now. I mean, I'm not w too worried. They also had a uh, last, when we were last on there, they had a breach in this big section, which is also costing them oxygen. If I had to guess, I'd say they're probably sitting here in the uh, med bay right now, uh, trying to keep themselves alive. Yeah, it looks like they're not moving off that area. So I'm assuming they're in the med bay trying to keep themselves alive right now. And. The problem is they only have one HP. I do not want to risk losing my crew members on that ship. Yeah, that... That would blow goats. Huh. You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Let's let the boarding drone take care of it. No, you're going to the wrong place! No, there! That's where I want you to go. Go there! Damn. Oh well. We got 12 scrap out of it. Huzzah, scrap. Like, I really want to take out the actual crew, though. So. God damn it. Rejecting their offer, but I can't fight them. My br I don't have enough uh, power to get that burst laser running. If it was, if it was a regular laser, this would have been nice, but... You get in here. Give me a better dodge chance. One moment now, I need to restart the call. Because for the video, you're still fighting that last ship, and it's still at full hit points. Wow, you're behind. Yeah, audio's clear, but the video froze about uh, four minutes ago. Restarting call. Okay, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, and we're back, still fighting this damn ship. And by fighting, I mean just evading its shots and hoping like hell I don't take damage. And by this damn ship, we mean internet connection issues. That too. Okay, just waiting patiently until we can jump. This is going to be a long episode, guys. Hopefully. Oh yeah, baby. But you know, it's not how long it is, it's how you use it. Never do that again. I promise nothing. Okay, what are we gonna find here? Explore the asteroid field and find a pirate ship, okay. You two are there, defense drone up so we can make sure we have shields. And jump and attack these guys. A human and a rock, okay. Sounds like a joke. A human and a rock go into an asteroid field. Except the rock is the asteroid field. Ah, 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 ah joke ah. is funny. It actually wasn't bad, I'll, I'll admit. Ooh, we got a heavy ion. Nice. Still requires two power, though. Yeah. So not as good as it could be. But we didn't take really, uh, I think we took one point of damage from this fight. So I'm not Which too worried is, about it. You know. Yeah. And our FTL is now charging. And we got a bunch of rewards for that. 
if you're gonna try to unlock the slug ship, you should definitely make this the upgrade run so you can add your uh, sensors. Well, it depends. Two. It depends on where the nebula is gonna be. I gotta. I gotta kind of judge that. Go ahead and jump to the exit. Like if the nebula is right there, yeah. But got an ion blast Mark II. Okay. And now we can jump out. Okay, so we got the nebulas right there. That really answers that. So I guess we're gonna have to upgrade. Wait, wait, hold on. What's up? You have to force them to surrender, yes? No, I gotta kill them all in their ship. No, what I'm showing is to unlock the ship, you need to force the crew from the... You need to force slug ships in the nebula to surrender to you. Ships oh, will right. never surrender. Right, I forgot yeah. about that. There's ways to do that. Uh, from what I'm seeing, it needs to be just bombarded with conventional fire. Or jump onto their ship, take down their shields, smack them a couple times. That works. Do you have any conventional fire options? Not currently, but if I do an upgrade, I can. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna jump through here. So far, I haven't found anything in here. That's three jumps in a row with no event. Have you got your sensors? Not yet. You need your sensors for the jumps. I'm aware. Otherwise... We're not even in the uh, Slug ne Home Nebula yet, so I don't have to do any upgrades oh, yet. Oh, derp. I thought it was in any nebula. No, it's Slug Home specifically. Yep. I'm smart. Don't mind me. Okay. My brain is oh. Got a Mantis crew here. Nice. Okay. Actually, not even a Mantis crew. We just have a Mantis ship. Okay, there is a Mantis crew member on this ship. Which we are Show already doing a crap ton of damage. That hurt. Rip out his mandibles and impale his bloody corpse upon them, that your enemies may know how terrifying you may be. Anyways, I'm gonna if I'm gonna get to the end of this sector, and if the next sector is Slughome, which it might not be, I don't think there's a guarantee that every time you play that you will see one of each sector. Uh. But uh, if the next sector is not Slug Home, then I'm not going to bother upgrading. If it is Slug Home, we'll upgrade all at once. Mm -hmm. Let's get our drone control upgraded again. I can also throw a drone onto the enemy ship to do de uh, destruction, so there's that too. Mm -hmm. You go here, and let's jump. We'll keep on exploring through this nebula, see what we can find. Not getting a lot of uh, fuel. Repugnant, arm the weapons! Dude, you don't call me repugnant. Those are not, those are fighting words. I'll show you repugnant. Show you a picture of pugs. Just what do you say to this? Oh my God, they're hideous. Bomb that does nothing. Okay. I'm glad these guys have no med bay because that would just ruin my day. It's getting kind of close. Kill him, thank you. Okay, wow, that was kind of close. And we got a rock crew member as a prisoner, so now we have three members of the ship to throw onto enemy ships. And the rock mantis combo is always made of awesome. It is. And the um, movement speed bonus includes the rock. So his reduction in movement speed is not quite as pronounced now as it usually is. You know, Rock Mantis. That just sounds like a badass action hero, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. We got boarded. Well, that's good. <laughs> what okay. kind of moron boards a Mantis? Why do you, yeah, why do you board a Mantis ship? What's the best thing that you think will come of this? You just gave me a bunch of combat EXP. You know, I'm pretty sure their reaction was, "All right, let's board these fuckers." And oh god, mantises! Let's board the let's board the first ship we see passing through this. Be oh god. Alternatively, I always knew the captain hated us, <laughs> <sighs> and he made us jump here first. Okay. Oh, well, we're almost through this sector. We've gotten very little in the way of rewards for this sector. You know what? I have to. Manually search the wreckage. Anti-ship drone mark two. Nice. 
Uh, it requires four power, though, so we can't even... We can't use it right now. Aw. But if I decide to go for a drone-type ship, it'll work. Unfortunately, I'm... Yes! Teleporter, lock onto their life signs. And we got another free crew member, this time a slug. Yay! Which means you don't need sensor level two. No, you still need it. I think. No! Uh... You get a blue option for having a slug. Oh, okay. That's good. That means I do not have to upgrade my ship now. Uh, do I want to? No, no, I can't risk it. We just gotta, we just gotta wait for the jump. If I had level two, uh, level two teleporter, you could, there's actually just enough time to teleport onto the enemy ship, bla blast a couple of times, and teleport off. With it before your guys die of asphyxiation. But unfortunately, right now on this ship. Uh, or on this particular enemy, or this particular enemy ship, because I only have level one teleporters, I can't uh, jump onto their ship. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, you know what? I might still need to upgrade my ship. That's right, because I have to deal damage to their ship somehow to cause yeah. them to surrender. Now, what it's I might be able way. to do, if you break enemy ship components, that deals damage to the ship. So I might be able to force damage onto them that way. Yeah, but... We're just gonna have to see. We really will. I might be able to get, like, a one-bar missile. I might be able to get an Artemis missile from somewhere. There's a lot of options. Okay. The thing is, it's it seems really foolhardy to, to uh, ignore both shops and upgrades in the same run. If only for the fact that the final boss is going to rip your ass a new one without both. Well, I only have to get to Sector 8. I don't have to win. I just have to get there. Hmm. See, I didn't realize And for the that. upgrades, I only have to get to Sector 5. I don't have to win. I just have to get there. So yeah, this is not necessarily a smart idea. There's our fuel. There's a crap ton of scrap. Our guys took next to no damage awesome. Yeah, now I have four crew members, including some of the best uh, anti-ship crew possible. So this is, uh, this is going well. Let's go to the exit, and then we'll see what the next nebula is. And it is Uncharted Nebula, so there is no slug nebula on this run. Uh... So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through the NG-controlled sector. Because friendly, likely to be full of shop. Which I won't use. You need repairs. Ah, well, there's that. Three fuel, one missile, 24 scrap. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I'll go to the store. I'll get repairs. Man, they have good stuff. Fix all. Yeah. Goodbye. That's a distress beacon. Now, that could be something useful. Indeed. Sure. One missile, one drone part, 32 scrap. Okay. Show me the stress beacon. Board. Ah, yes. The giant and giant alien spiders. The one blue option I've ever seen for this is boarding drone. Launch a boarding drone into the station, which crashes through a hole, leaves a hull breach. The drone tears through creatures while debris and dead bodies fly from the breach. And the owners of the station are less than happy with you and ask you to leave. Yeah... I'M HELPING! Boom! I'M HELPING! Yeah. Explain that you're friendly, and nothing happens. Just NG event. NGs think you're trying to rob them, so they offer you everything you have. You explain that you're friendly, and, uh, they just wander off. That's comical. Huh? Distress beacon turns out to be a trap. They only have two crew members on their ship, which means this is going to be a slaughter. Yeah. Why would anyone attempt such things against a Mantis ship without multiple personnel? Yeah. It's... And they're gone. Did not get any fuel from that, though. Unfortunate. No, it is, because I only have two fuel left. Uh, well, at least you did filter your run through a, uh, at least one nebula, so 
wave will be somewhat behind. It's not as far behind. It doesn't go, fall as far behind as you think. It's only for that particular uh, sector. It's not for the oh, entire yes. run. I thought it would just permanently slow it down by a couple. Nope, Ouch. just for that sector. Okay, can this thing shoot down both missiles? Yes, it can. Awesome. I should be able to come across a couple of uh, events that will cause me to not have a... Uh... God damn it, give me fuel! That actually hit? That did hit. How the hell did that hit? I don't know. Okay, you two go and fix that. I mean, we're doing really good. We have a crap ton of scrap. We're not taking much in the way of damage. Just we're also not getting anything in the way of fuel on any of these jumps, which is, that's what's going to cause us to lose. Yeah, without fuel. I mean, I may get... There are plenty of events that can happen while you have no fuel that will give you a ton of fuel. So the hope is just that I will find one. And I'm several jumps ahead of the uh, rebels right now, so... Send away party to investigate. Got three fuel, two scraps, 17... Uh, three fuel, two missiles, 17 scraps. So that gave me fuel the for a couple more jumps at least. And let's aid the civilian ship from this pirate. Okay, now here's something that's gonna be fun. Where are they gonna teleport to? God, and it's it's an NG and a Zoltan. Why would you ever board a Mantis ship as the two weakest fighters in the game? Suicide. Pretty much. Okay, this is how you do a boarding party. Their love was forbidden on their home world, unable to bear it. They simply threw themselves into the jaws of the mantis. Apparently. They would be together in the afterlife. Contact the civilian ship, and the civilian ship retreated, which means I get no reward from them. Which sucks. I mean, there's. I love it when those events happen, because there's a significant chance of you getting um, double rewards. Just not in that case. Okay. You get up here. Let's jump to the next sector which is a civilian sector. Okay, that's gonna be sector four, so we're almost there. And once you reach sector five, you can start upgrading, yes? Correct. Okay, come on, come on. Yes, yes, six tube fuel for six missiles, done. Keeps me going. Lock onto their life signs, get some scrap, and get myself an NG, okay. Which means now I can have the NG permanently fly the ship while I have uh, four guys doing that, which means now I have higher dodge chance. I actually have a nice. dodge chance now. You've got a hell of a war crew now. Yeah, I mean, we're actually we're doing pretty good. Oh, the quest marker's behind me. Damn it. Uh, damn, I can't do anything about this. Now, what upgrades are you planning on going for? Uh, first, I'm going to upgrade the teleporter, then I'm going to upgrade uh, shields, I'm going to upgrade my engine. Let's try speaking here. Do you have a way to take down green shields, or are you going to not go for such? Not yet. Whoa, blue I've option. never seen this blue option before. Uh, we find a man living alone in a cave. His mental state is questionable, but since you have a slug crew member and slugs are telepathic, he can assess his mental state. Psychic slug? That, yep. That this, sounds like some kind of Metal Gear foe. And the slug says the man is stable and with good intentions. You offer him a, a, a place on the ship, which gives us now a human. Yay! Now I can throw my NG into the uh, engines, and so now we have a 15% evade chance. And we got another distress you got beacon. a dude. Yeah. Hooray, dude. Let's see, and this is the uh, repair system that's not working. We get to use the NG crew to remotely repair it, and they give us two fuel, a missile, and 45 scrap. We jump to the exit immediately, and now we're in Sector 5, or we'll be in a second. Anything interesting going on here? Life 4, intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. We get to investigate, and because we have a slug here, he attempts to communicate telepathically. Uh, they inform us of a nearby crash site, and we go there. We find a deactivated NG that joins our crew will now work on, uh, shields. Hey. Go to the NG-controlled sector. Achievement unlocked. I don't need no stinking upgrades. Nice. 
I have, okay, so first things first. Let's start upgrading this ship to where I would like it to be. So, teleporter, upgrade and uh, upgrade uh, power bar. Two bars into uh, shields, three bars into power, and that, or um, let's also do one bar into weapon control. Okay. I feel happy about that. Actually, let's do a second bar of power for weapons, because now I have a uh, heavy ion. And we are, uh, that's okay. We're actually in a good position now. We have no fuel, but now whatever comes to see me about having no fuel, like this rebel ship, is now gonna die a really gruesome death. Okay, men. Wreck them. Well, now that we have an upgraded ship, and now that I'm actually allowed to do upgrades, we're going to be in a really good position here. Yeah. Yep. And enemy crew is dead. Five fuel and 54 scrap for free. Upgrade our weapon control again. Upgrade our power bars again. And now I can change over to a Ion Blast Mark II. Upgrade, or uh, go repair these three. Awesome. Okay, now I just need a store so I can just... Oh, I can't even... I can't buy fuel. That's right. Damn. So it's just going to be just upgrading. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Let's upgrade... Drone control. Or do I... What do I want to upgrade? Actually, let's leave it because I want to upgrade engines so we have a higher dodge chance. Okay, there's a distress beacon here. Let's go check that out. Let's see, uh, there's a dense asteroid field nearby giving off a distress call. This would be the event for the crystal crew member. Let's go ahead and search for the ship. Uh, we do not find the crew member. We do, however, find fuel, missiles, and scrap. So, Always how, uh, handy. Yeah, that's definitely going to be something I'm going to be happy about. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do I want to upgrade crew teleporter right now? Thinking about it. Go for it. You need it upgraded eventually. Well, I already have it at level 2, which is generally where I can leave it for a while. And I think I want a higher evade chance. That's true. The more you evade, the better you're off. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. I do have a little bit of extra power that I can pump into evade right now. Got another distress beacon right here. Offer these guys to beam them port aboard our ship. Take them to their nearby planet where they're from. And uh, we get... I have no idea what we got. We got nothing for that, okay. Okie dokie then. Got an intruder on deck. It's going to be a mantis who's, off, who's asked for sanctuary from uh, NG who want to hurt it. Uh, we're going to side with the fugitive, but it's a trap and he sabotages our ship. Yeesh. It was a chance to get another NG. I was willing to try. You mean another mantis? Or another mantis, yeah. I yeah, was willing to try it. It's always worth mantises. Yep. Manti. Mantis. Mantises. Found a prisoner. Mantis men, an army of them. That is what your test will be, fighting them. To the next chamber, grab your assault rifle, men. Anyway. Yeah. Let's keep on jumping. Got another distress beacon. Jump, jump. And this one slide, gives us. Slide. These guys want fuel. I can't give it to them. Sorry, guys. I don't have any fuel myself. So what are we going to find here? Let's aid the civilian ship here. One guy is going to teleport onto my ship. One single mantis teleports onto my ship. Okay. You do that. <laughs> just just one? Just one. What the hell does he think he's going to... Ah, uh, hi, uh, mantis. Uh, any chance at all you're not going to brutally butcher me? No, I... Yeah. Sorry, you're gonna die now. That's not gonna happen. And now their entire ship is dead. Contact the civilian ship, which gives us some stuff. So we got like one fuel out of that. Actually, fuel is just about the only resource I care about right now. Let's see, what do I want to upgrade now? Uh, let's go ahead and continue upgrading Dodge Chance. I'm thinking it 
might be worth it to get rank four shields on this sucker. Oh, it will be. The, the, that's the nice thing about running a Mantis ship. They get such high scrap input that you can upgrade your entire ship front to back. Yeah, which is nice. Yep. Okay. Is there an achievement for having max upgrades in all categories? Actually, no. Hmm. Okay, so we're out of fuel again. And we have found a rebel ship that decides that it wants to try to do something against me. You guys try that. The red dots, those are where enemies are located, yes? Correct. Uh, slug crew members, because they are psychic, have the ability to show you where enemies are on their ships without having... That, that is freaking awesome for a Mantis ship. Yeah, no. it's very useful. It means you don't have to waste any money on a, uh, on the whole, you know, uh, upgrade sensors, sensors thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, these guys are trying to, you know, go back into their med bay to heal, but I'm going to have my Mantis waiting there for them. It's kind of like the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. They're waiting for you. And now their entire crew is dead. And we took minimal damage. Let's go ahead and upgrade uh, our engines again. So we currently have a 45% dodge chance. And uh, max is 55%, so we're doing pretty good here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and upgrade our slug a little bit, too. I'll upgrade your slug if you know what I mean. And I hope you do, because I don't. I have no idea what you mean. Damn. Okay, we're on to our next ship. Let's trade one drone part for ten fuel. Sure, I can deal with that. Okay. Now we're in uh, Sector 6. The only question I have is I, d I have no idea how we're going to... Uh, I have no idea how we're actually going to beat the final boss right now. I I really haven't a clue. I think I'm going to start powering up weapons and uh, try to use that. But that's about my best guess right now. Okay, go ahead and take out this Federation bomber. It's not going to be able to do anything. Can't you just destroy all of its systems over and over? Or wipe out I, all its crew? I can, but destroying all of its systems is not quite enough damage. And actually, no, you cannot wipe out all its crew. That is actually the one thing you are unable to do. If you try to wipe out all of the crew of the enemy super weapon, a computer takes over, and then it starts acting like an unmanned ship. Huh. Yeah. So what ends up happening is that... It repairs itself gradually over time, and now oxygen doesn't matter anymore. Uh, doesn't have to worry about having a, uh, you know, med bay. Nothing. It's actually That's... widely advised that you do not allow this to happen. Yeah, it goes against the will of the mantis. So... Yeah. Hmm. So I have to. Uh, gradually build into power for my weapons, so that way I have weapons that can fire at it. I've been boarded. You need to get some fucking weapons. I have been boarded. Oh, to nose. All the power to you guys. Yeah, every time I hear that, I just think, alright, give us all the... Oh, fuck, it's madness. Yes. This is a stick-up! Don't anybody move! Just like the Mantis- oh, okay. We're really good at standing still. I just hear- I, in my head, I just hear those first of- th that, like, first set of events from, like, uh, Toy Story. And just go, except we're not Sheriff Woody. We're the bastard child of Sheriff Woody and Buzz Lightyear, and we also don't give a damn. You're all gonna die. Okay, let's go ahead and start jumping towards the exit. I got plenty of stuff I can do in here. I'm just, again, I'm kind of worried about fuel here. Okay, this is not good. Okay, you two go over here. This is how this works. I 
Vents drone, you want to do your jobs there? You guys come back. You guys go in there. You guys go in there. Heal up. Wow, where did my defense drone go? We're taking a crap ton of damage for no reason. Wow. Uh, you get in here. Fix the drone control, please. And you two get in there and attack that. Crap, 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 crap. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Thank you. That could have been remarkably bad. You get back in there. You two return to me. And go in here. Okay, how am I going to kill this ship? I suggest with fire. Fire is always good. Well, what I'm trying to do, it's out of missiles, which is good. Uh, so I'm not going to take any more damage from that. What I'm going to have to do, basically, is I'm going to have to uh, send my mantises over to break its shields. And I'm going to have to then use my burst, or switch over to my burst laser and have my burst laser uh, work on its, um, work on its engine or something to stop it from getting back up. Crap. You fire. No! No! Damn it! Eep. Not only did it get away and inform the enemies where they are, where I am, it took my two Mantis members with it. Ah! Oh, what? They can do that? Yes. And I'm assuming if you jump when you've been boarded, you don't get to steal them as crew. Oh, they don't come as crew. They just come, and I have to keep fighting them. Ah. Well, at least your Manti will die a valorous and glorious death. Wait, no, who am I kidding? They're Mantis. At least your Mantis will take over that ship and start adventures It's an unmanned ship with no oxygen in it. They're going to die of asphyxiation. There is no honor or valor here. Only Zool. Son of a... Well then, rest in pieces, noble companions. You're ear hosed. That is a very true statement. Okay, you get the hell out of there. Whew, that was close. Almost lost another crew member. Yeah, uh, that, not, not good. Very, very bad. Not, not good. Okay, well I did have a full crew. Now I no longer have a full crew and probably the most important portions of my crew have left. Yeah, that's... Uh, everything was going so well, too. Well, if by going so well you mean we Rolling. fought as hard as we possibly could to get to that point, then yes, I agree with that. Okay, and... At least you got an achievement. Yeah. Well, I'm going for the second one. We are almost there. Okay. Currently, we are in Mantis space. And there's a mantis enemy. Pop defense drone, where are these guys teleporting? Right there, okay, yep. You guys can fight inside of my med bay all you want. That's fine by me. The problem is, most of the people on my ship right now are not really able to take care of this. This is gonna be a, uh, yeah, I don't really care about that. This is gonna be a war of attrition on this fight. I'm going to win. But I have to wait until they run out of missiles before I can actually go on the offensive. Now, when they run out of missiles, then we're going to win. But until then, we're just going to be waiting kind of casually. So, how are you preventing those missiles from blowing you? Defense drones! Fair enough! Fair enough! Same way I've dealt with every other one. And the only bombs they have are ion bombs, so I don't really care about those. They don't actually deal any damage. So what's going to happen is as soon as they run out of missiles, which should be very soon here, actually, uh, I'm going to throw a boarding drone at them, and then I'm also going to throw all of my crew... or, uh, like... like these three crew members at them, and then we're going to go board them. 
which should work. Oh, come on. How many missiles do you guys, are you guys packing? Okay, it looks like they're out. We just make sure that that Hermes missile does not fire again. Okay. They are out of missiles. You go there. Boarding drip. Boarding drone activates. Where's that gonna land? Works for me. You guys go in there. Yep, that is exactly how I wanted that to go. Okay, this is a fight that worries me. You get out of there. Kill that crew member. Good. out of here. You stay right there. You ever sneeze hard enough that your computer chair sails back about a foot and a half? Nope. Okay, hold on. I got I, I gotta uh, I gotta really seriously micro this. There we go. Wow, that was that was scary as ever loving hell. I had to like there was some serious microwing that had to be done there to keep all my guys alive. But it worked! I win! Okay, they only have one crew member left alive, and he's currently sitting inside of their med bay. And while he's doing that, my boarding drone is wrecking his engine. And all of my crew members are now left alive. So now they are going to go and kill his O2. Come on, this shouldn't be that hard. Stop trying to kill him and kill him. And we win. Victory. And we found a prisoner who, prisoner who joined our crew. So we have a, few, a new crew member, which is good, which means I'm actually kind of back in the saddle again. Kind of, sort of, a little bit, but not really. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our weapons again. And now I can actually uh, have my Burst Laser Mark One firing at the same time. So now we actually are able to really make this happen. Please be a distress beacon that gives me fuel. Yes. Okay. Hooray, fuel. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, let's, uh, what do I want to upgrade right now? What's important to me? Nothing. Shields, I think. Don't have enough power for, or don't have enough um scrap for it. Yeah, either more shields or well, you've got plenty of weapons. You just need an actual weapon. Yep. Let's go ahead. We are almost out of here. I just need a little bit more fuel, and we can actually finish up. There's nothing here. Distress beacon is on. Wait patiently. Let's negotiate with these guys. We just insulted them. Okay. These guys have missiles. No. Boarding gr drone. Go. Where is that going to land? In their shield room. You guys, into there. It's an all slug crew. Oh, that's awesome. We are going to. So gonna... effectively worthless in melee combat? Pretty much. Well, I mean, they're not worthless. They have about the same melee combat as any non Mantis, non Angie. So it's not as if okay. they're bad or anything. Okay, that was bad. How the hell is a slug effective in melee combat? Oh, it's I have sticky. No idea. Ew. Uh, well, maybe they fire psychic blasts or something. I, I don't. Yeah, it's something like that. Okay, that's one down, two down, three down, four down. All of them are dead, and we are pretty safe. Took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. All of my men are alive. And I actually would have given long odds on all of my men surviving that, so that was actually pretty nice. You go over here, and where's the other one? You get back on engines. You guys go heal up. Yeah, that was about as close as I ever want to get to losing. Okay. Heal all my guys up real quick. 
This is probably the stupidest run I've ever done. Uh, let's get, um, two more power, and that should allow me to have a boarding drone going at the same time as, uh, having f max uh, engines. And I think the way this is built right now, having my Ion Blast to my Burst Laser, I should be able to do enough damage to the final boss to kill him. But mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to win because of his super weapons. Yeah. Let's repair 10 damage for 20 scrap. That sounds like an idea. Okay. Final sector. Last stand. Achievement unlocked. Living off the land. Hot buttered balls. So even if we lose here, we still won. You got two freaking chiefs. Yeah. Even if we lose, we still won. Because we did exactly what we set out to do. I got the two Next stop. stupidest achievements in the same run. Next stop, ignomious death, the hands of the final boss. Well, actually, I was thinking next stop, next run, Slugmobile. Yeah, pretty much. Slugmobile, Slugmobile, anyway. Yes, I'm aware there's an intruder detected. It's right there. Crap, I got multiple guys having trouble on the enemy ship. Can you guys kill him for the other two join you? Yes, okay, so most of their guys are dead. Now let's withdraw these guys. Let's go fight this thing real quick. Okay, I have lashed their shields. Where's this bomb going? Okay. You two go heal the O2. There's so much going on during this fight. It's hard for me to concentrate on everything. You get in here. You guys get in here. You guys get in here. Okay. Doing okay. Let's see. What? Okay, you get back in. Oh, no. You're, you're fine. You stay there. Uh, let's see, you get back in here, you get back in here, both of you heal up. You get in here. You get in here, let's go jump onto their ship and finish them off. Because I can, I still have a chance to upgrade right now. Okay, we're gonna break their shields, you two go here, fix our shields. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break their shields. What I'll do is I'll burst laser to their med bay to stop them from being able to actually heal themselves up. And then we'll just go kill them. Which is exactly what we're doing. You two go heal up real quick. Whoa, okay, my guy's out of that room. And we win. We have no business winning, but we win. Okay. Try not to let the pressure get to me. Okay, you need healing. You two are at full health. What can I upgrade right now? What can I actually make better for myself? Nothing. Don't have the scrap for it. Okay, you two get back into the teleport room. So we're doing good. Actually, this is, you know, this is also one of the fastest runs I've ever done to the final boss. Not surprising, honestly. Like, the fact that we're here, we're here successfully. Just maxed out our engines. Okay, do I want to fight the final boss right now? Or do I want to get a couple more jumps in first? Fuck it. Bring it. The hell? Oh, right. Pop a defense drone. I for, yeah, the final boss isn't quite here yet. Oh, holy crap. What? There's some very rare crystal type weapons that are insane. They're only for the crystal uh, ship, period. Yeah, even the upgrades can only be used in the crystal ship, mm -hmm. but damn, those things are bonkers. Oh yeah, they're really nice. That's one of the reasons you want the crystal ship, is because of the stuff it gets. I was looking at the stats the other day, and I was just there going, H have you seen the augment the crystal ship gets? Yeah. Yeah, it's that 
That ship is nuts. It is the most powerful ship in the game. Like, flat, I guess, the way I'd like to put that. Like, there are other ships that are more powerful than it in terms of, like... I don't know. Just the stuff they can do right off the bat. But it just has some serious power in them. And then they them their ships. Yeah, that ship. Ooh, Nelly. Hopefully we'll get it eventually. But we did so just... that said, the slug ship looks insanely fun to play. Yeah, it does. The last two ships are fun. And honestly, we just, this run, got us two of the hardest sh uh, mi uh, things in the game. Like, two of the hardest achievements to unlock. So, we're gonna get to coast for a bit. Just uh, ge uh, generally breaking the ship down. It's taking forever. Come on. That's why I don't like uh, cloaking devices and enemy ships, because it just makes the fight drag forever. Rise, you're not just jumping away. You don't need to engage this thing, and you're the, not going to get enough scrap to be useful. It's because the uh, the final boss is jumping to this beacon right now. Uh, so I have to waste can't. two fuel an entire enemy turn just to kill it. Or yeah. I can kill this thing, get some scrap, which I might potentially use. Ah! Waiting for this cloaking device. We're, again, we're still on the fastest run I've ever had, so I'm not exactly like this isn't terrible or anything. Just kind of waiting for his shields to go down so I can use my burst laser on his cloaking device and stop that thing from firing. There we go. Yeah, to your five second cloak, that's fine. Or maybe it's a ten second cloak. It's a ten second cloak. Get his shields off. Thank you. Mm. I'm trying to... T I want to take down his engines or his cloaking... or, or But I can't take down his engines because the cloaking device comes up too much for me to actually, like, hit his engines. Not Like, nothing is hitting enough to make this fight happen. Which is really annoying. I'm actually half tempted to throw enemy... Or throw my guys onto his ship because I know this is one that's not trying to run away. But... I don't want to risk losing men. Can I get something to hit, please? Okay, that hit. Come on, burst laser hit. Nope. So we're still waiting. And the problem is it's repairing itself all the while. So every time it cloaks up, the damage that I did the last time I hit it is kind of canceled. Or not cancelled, but because its hull is still taking this damage. But I'm not, um... I'm still not able to get this damage on it. So I'm trying to get that cloaking device down. Yeah, it's just going to take a couple whiles. Yeah. Like, I finally have its normal shields down, and then it cloaks up, so that is now nullified. So now its normal shields are up again. And as soon as I actually get the shot off of my burst laser, its shields come back up immediately. Just annoying. On the plus side, my guy here who uh, is on weapons is finally going to have his weapons uh, ability completely unlocked. So that's going to fire this up even faster, which is useful. Yeah, he's getting more levels from this fight than he has the rest of the game, huh? Yeah, because we weren't using our guns at all from the entire rest of the game. That thing is such an evasive little bugger. Yep. That's why I'm shooting its engines right now. Like, for enemies like this, that's what you want missiles for. Because the missile penetrates all the shields, so you don't have to worry about it. But you can't rely on God only damn missiles. It. No, because you run out of missiles. God, I took down that, sh that uh, cloaking device, too. First laser, you want to actually hit, please? Thank you. Okay, that's finally done. Okay, so it left behind some uh, scrap, but not enough for me to get uh, next level shields, not enough for me to get next level weaponry. Uh, not enough for me to get two levels of drone control. I will put one point of drone control for now, because that will allow me to... 
now wait. Because I want to be able to use anti-ship for one of the fights. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for the enemy ship to get here. And now the rebel flagship is here. So now, this is how this is going to work. Which of you guys has the best fighting score? Okay, you're really good, and you're really good. So you two are backing out. We're just gonna wait for this. Now remember, I do not have a cloaking device. So we're relying on 55% evade chance to save us, basically. Okay, take out one weapon first. Start ion blasting their shields. This is gonna suck. Yep, got hit by two of them. You guys go in here and fix that fire real quick. Okay, you two get in here, because I need you two. Damn it! Couldn't get them on the, sh the enemy ship fast enough. Come on, break that thing! I'm going to take some hits off of this. Yep, there goes door control. Okay, you two, get over here on that. You two, get over here on that. Need to get... Okay, we're at 75% hull, which is not amazingly good. Still, it only has three forms. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you, you guys come back and go heal up. Ow. Now, on this ship, if you have crew over when you shear off a portion... They still go do you with it. But do they come back with its new form? No. They're, they're considered lost. That blows. Yeah, it's... There's... Yeah. Okay, can you guys get that, sh that weapon down? Thank you. You guys return... You go heal up. You two go in here. Okay, I just have to get their ion uh, thing down, and then we're going to be in good position. Okay, I hit their uh, cloaking device, which is good. Something to note about enemy ships and cloaking devices. If they're cloaked, you can't get your, uh, fr your guys off the ship. Okay, you two go and just break that for me, would you? Go feel that. You go work on that. Okay, so their first, uh, their first form's basically toast, which is excellent. What I'm thinking about is actually, if I can, if I have enough uh, scrap after this, uh, leveling up, um, uh, leveling up my teleporter, just so I can teleport guys on and off faster two off, but uh, as is right now, we're a first forms one, just because we're hitting so often, and they've got no damage on us. Wow, did they, al they already got the uh, cloaking device back up. That's kind of surprising. Let's get the burst laser on their cockpit. Awesome. So we're doing okay. Excellent, their engine's down, so we have a 100% chance to hit. So, yeah, they're pretty much toast. I don't think we're going to beat Form 2. Well, will you have a chance to warp away, repair, then warp back, or you have to engage them all No, I don't have to engage them consecutively, but I have to have a place to repair in order to actually do it. Yeah, so, and there are none. Well, there could be. There are dedicated repair places in the final map that if you go there, they'll give you a free repair and they'll uh, give you some random stuff. So, like, they may give you some drones, they may give you some stuff like that. I just don't know how likely it is that we'll actually get that. Because I wasn't looking at the uh, map when I engaged, so I don't know where the closest one of those is. So, uh, we're uh, kind of waiting on that. But uh, the good news is these guys are dead. So form one's down, no more cloaking device. And the cloaking device was one of the hardest things for us to deal with. We got some fuel, got some missiles, got 20 scrap. Uh, the nearest repair place is all the way down there, and I just can't reach it. It'll be, it'll be rebel by the time I get there. 
What I will do, I can't even upgrade my crew teleporter. Um, yeah, we're just going to jump and chase him. Okay, so this is the drone control fight. You guys get on there. Ion Blast there. And, uh... What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to get uh, defense drones. You guys in there. You get over here. I'm surprised you're not firing a breaching drone right at their drone control. I think that drone... Well, I don't choose where... Uh, drone, breaching drones go. Ah. Yes, yeah, so that's not decided by me. Um, what I was gonna do is fire my regular gun at drone control. Yeah, here's the problem. They, their defense drone shoots down incoming breaching drones. Now, luckily, it didn't actually successfully shoot it down. It failed. But, uh... Let's get you two... Back. Their big gun, the scary one, is down. You need to go heal. Okay, so here comes the fight. I need points in that and points in that for now. Uh, our engines are partially down. They just hit us with another drone. You two go deal with that. Now we're taking damage. Now you get in here. You get in here. Take care of that, please. And I'm not dealing... They just took down uh, my my uh, breach drone, unfortunately. Yeesh. Mm-hmm. Okay, you get back in here. You get in here and fix that. Here comes the next uh, one of those. Now, hopefully... I have that 55% dodge chance going again. Hopefully, I'll be able to stop this for the most part. Uh, you go here and fix that. And you two, or you and you go over here and stop that, uh, that. Okay, so the dodge chance is doing its work. Uh, we are actually dodging most of these attacks. Okay, can I get a burst laser to here, please? Yes, we hit. That is probably the best thing that could have happened just now. You need to get out. Took out their engines. Uh, not not just their engines specifically, but um, stopping their dodge chance, which means that my uh, ion blast hits more often. And ion blast hitting more often means their shields stay offline longer, which uh, gives you a really solid chance of taking out their freaking drone bazookas. Yeah. Where? Okay, these two are over here. Let's pull those two back. And you two go in here and stop him from attacking that. Here come some more drones. You got that fixed. Good. Go fix that one. You need to stay in there. You go help fix that. Just kind of trying to fixing the breaches that we have right now. Okay, you two go heal. You need to get out of there. A human can finish this up. You go start working on that. You go heal. You get in here. You go heal. Okay, here comes the next wave. Uh, you and you go fight that along with you. Like, we're doing really good when it comes to uh, surviving the th crap they're throwing at me. And we're not taking much in the way of damage. Okay, you guys, out of there. We're gonna let NG take care of that. Uh, and the good news is they're not gonna be firing any more breaching drones at me for the time being. You actually have a chance. Not a big chance, but a chance. Kind of. This entire thing revolves entirely around uh, my Ion Blast continuing to hit. You're getting there. We're getting there. You in here. You in 
here. And you get back on weapons. Okay, I'm trying to decide how how willing I am to risk getting Zenu or Zemu off where he is now and onto the med bay. I think I'm gonna wait until the next couple fires from Burst Laser. One more fire from Burst Laser will defeat this thing. I, I've actually, I've been paying attention to the enemy ship at all. I've been focusing on my ship and microwing everybody around so that we killed all their boarding drones and didn't lose ourselves. Two missiles and drones parts, scrap 21. Okay, that did exactly what I wanted because now I want to upgrade drone control. I have a reason, I promise. I'm not doing this for no reason. I know what I'm doing. Kind of, sort of. Defensive drones? Or are you going to barrage the fuckers with anti-ship? <laughs> anti-ship. Yup. Actually, the plan was to have... Let's see, what does the final thing have? Uh, defensive drone is not useful for the final ship. It's uh, boarding drone and anti-ship that I need. Okay. First laser down, heavy ion up. Is everybody where they're supposed to be? Kapalka, you are my weapons guy. Okay, thank you, Iggy. Uh, let's see. No one's gonna get that joke. Okay, we are ready to go. You two, out of there. Okay, guys, this is the test of truth. First of all, can I get to the store before he does, please? Nope. Okay. Ion blast, heavy ion, take down that heavy shield for me. And, uh, you know what? I need some power. Anti-ship. Good! Teleport directly into my uh, med bay to attack the men who are sitting there waiting for you to arrive. That's... that's glorious. The, the level of sheer stupidity those fellows are displaying is... You in here. Okay. Their shields are down, heavy ion down. This up. You two get... remove that. Ow! Okay, who's almost dead? You're almost dead. Okay, crap, and med bay is down. Okay, um, you here, you here. And you out of that room for now. They're doing a crap ton of damage to me right now. Uh, this is gonna be very, very close if I survive. You two get that done. You get in here. Come on, take down that thing. Point into there. Get those guys healed. You get into there. You get into there. Fix those. This is gonna suck. Okay, didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. You two. Return to me. You know, even though it's likely you're going to die horribly, at the very least, you put up a valiant and noble battle. Well, here's the fun thing. All their weapons, except for their gigantic fuck you weapon, are all down. Yeah, but that just means that their gigantic fuck you weapon is up. No, 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 Still, no. You don't, you don't see what I'm seeing. Yeah, with 55% miss chance and shield level 3, you have a damn good chance. And their shields are, t are almost down. I have a level 2 uh, attacking drone on them. And... I have a burst laser I can fire. This is gonna hurt. Oh, damn. One hit point to their four. Crap. This is... The hmm? shields just came back online. You can do it. You just... Ah. Oh. No, no, no. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Here it comes. Test of truth. This is it. Here we go. I can't look. No, god damn it. Oh, how did they? Oh, those cheating bastards. No, that's what they did. Instead of firing their major weapon, they got their shields back. That is fine uh, by oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Come on, Iron Blast. Get those shields back offline. You know what? How do I want to do this? I don't. I'd almost say temporarily divert no, no, power no. from oxygen for weapons. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! The last hit! No! Oh, so close. God damn, the last hit hit. Okay, you know what? 
we were okay that with that, epic. guys. We almost did it. They were two off. I didn't even think we would get this far, and we did. And uh, we got the two achievements. Not only did we lose, but we lost in a glorious cinematic showdown where it came down to the wire, and in the end, the good guys just, oh, taken out by one bad flip of the coin. Yeah, actually, coin flip is exactly the way to put it, too. Yeah. Well, it was glorious, and the tales written about this mighty crew will not go down in history because the victor writes the history books. Exactly. Although, that said, that ship is crippled. It's highly plausible that you will be avenged. Oh, yeah, probably. But my story's over. Okay, yeah. guys. We got two achievements this time. We did get the I don't need those stinking upgrade achievements, so I never again have to do that. We also got the living off the land achievement, so I never again have to go without going to a store. Uh, we uh, only have one more uh, achievement in the going the distance category, which is get to sector five without ever firing a shot using an offensive drone or teleporting. That one's going to be tricky. You know what? I think I have an idea for that, too. Okay, guys, I will see you guys next time, and hopefully then we're going to go get that slug ship. See you then. Later, viewers.